For both the Republicans and Democrats, it's been a frustrating legislative session in Lincoln. Disappointment seemed to reach a new level today when talking about surplus funds for what's known as temporary assistance for needy families. The fund has $131 million in its rainy day fund. Every year, Nebraska receives nearly $57 million from the federal government for direct cash to poor families to help with basic needs. Health and human officials say there's a surplus because there just aren't as many needy families anymore. But as Brian Mastry reports, some senators believe there are plenty of people who could use the help. I'm not taking a $300 a month payment and buying lobster or a brand new scooter. In March, Kirsten Heiberger of Lincoln took a couple state senators to task over their implication that poor people can't be trusted and are living a life of luxury with their temporary assistance funds. Act as though we would be misspending the state's funds. Quite honestly, I wasn't planning on testifying, but I, I was offended to be in the room. And you guys don't know my situation by looking at me. I don't necessarily look like what you might think a poor single mom of five kids looks like. But you can work a full-time job in Nebraska and still not be able to get ends meet. Diane Amdor is with Nebraska Appleseed, a nonprofit fighting for opportunity for all citizens. Will they spend it on the lobster? Will they spend it on scooters? Will they spend it on drugs or alcohol? These comments and these statements and these stereotypes have been around for decades at this point, and they have been studied and they have been debunked. The things that people spend this money on are their basic needs. People spend the, this money on housing, they spend it on food, they spend it on diapers and clothing. For its part, Health and Human Services hasn't been very forthcoming on its plans for the $130 million rainy day fund. That's why the agency has been opposed to any changes in TANF spending, arguing they're working on other programs for the poor that would eat into that surplus. DJS has a plan for all these different types Oh of my plans. goodness, he said the right words. The plan, what's the plan? Yeah, the plan is currently under review. That hearing was back in March. Days ago, WWT6 News again asked for a copy of the plan from Health and Human Services. We were told it is yet to be finalized. I have lost all respect for you. Meanwhile, anger spilled onto the unicameral floor earlier today as some of the same senators who had proposed changes to the surplus to get more money into the pockets of the lowest income Nebraskans found out other senators intended to raid that surplus for other projects as part of the budget. Well, this is another raid on the TANF rainy day funds. This is not an appropriate use of these funds. You can't increase eligibility for our most vulnerable populations, but you can pilfer their money. On your side in Lincoln, Brian Mastry, 6 News. Experts say three bills that would have changed eligibility or cash amounts for needy families don't appear to have the support of a majority of state senators. Council